Now, section four of the manual talks about integration of structural modeler and StatPro. Uh, now, StatPro, as you might know from the exercises above, is a general purpose uh, structural analysis and design tool. Uh, structural modeler, on the other hand, is a product that allows you to uh, you know, make a 3D model of a structure uh, and also prepare drawings, uh, you know, bill of materials if you want, and, and so on, okay? Uh, and it's also a nice drawing generation package. So uh, now uh, what we'll do is we have already created our bridge geometry in StatPro, so we would like to get that into structural modeler or microstation, okay? So what I'll do is I'll click on File, Save As, and first of all, save that as, uh, you know, KH uh, Bridge, or I'll just call it maybe uh, My Bridge uh, My Bridge underscore eight dot std okay so uh, this uh, uh, we'll just save it like that okay so this is like our backup file now what I'm gonna do is uh, launch structural modeler okay now structural modeler is included under start or programs Bentley Building VAI and Structural Modeler VAI. Okay, so if you launch that, okay, first one it'll do is it'll launch MicroStation VAI, and then it'll open up a dialog box asking you, uh, you know, which file you want to open up. Okay, in this case we don't want to open up any file. We want to actually create a new file. So I'm on page number 106 of your manual step number one and what I did was I just used uh, launched structural modeler step number two is tells us you know set the user to structural so that's what I did uh, project to structural imperial and unit system to default so I'm just going to click on this new file icon okay and what it does is it uh, asks me uh, you know what is the file name okay so I'm just going to call it bridge model 3.dgn okay and I'm going to save that and I'm just going to open up that drawing file okay so once uh, once I open it up okay you see at the top it says microstation v8i um, but what it'll do is it'll actually launch uh, structural modeler structural modeler is actually based on microstation uh, technology so if you know how to use microstation it will be quite easy for you to learn uh, structural mod uh, structural modeler okay now um, this product uh, is meant uh, I mean to model structural entities so you can actually place beams columns uh, braces and and uh, create like a whole building model if you want in the um, using these structural entities and you can actually see all the entities in 3d um, once I mean each entity that you drop into the structural modeler interface has uh, some sort of data attached to it okay data like you know what type of material what type of section what type of uh, uh, you know fire resistance maybe or, or whatever it might be okay so it has all that data attached to it and that data can be then presented in, in in your drawings okay so let's see an example now um, here uh, uh, we have two modes okay structural physical which shows you the physical model but behind the scenes there is an analytical model being created right so once you're in the structural modeler interface make sure that the structural uh, and analytical features is on okay so basically when you import the stat model into structural modeler you get uh, both the physical representation of the model and the analytical model behind the scenes okay so you get both models in the same 
file. Now, um, this is the st structural modeler interface. You see on the left-hand side, there's all these tabs like beams, columns, and uh, to, to draw beams and columns. We have four views um, and, and so on, okay? So it, everything else except this, this uh, left-hand side tab is microstation, okay? Now, um, first thing that we need to do is we need to, uh, in the manual itself, we have uh, we have, uh, you know, mentioned the fact that, you know, there are differences in the naming conventions of, of sections. Plus, uh, in our existing stat file, the one, the bridge that we created, we've used, uh, you know, custom tubes. Now, the custom tubes might not be recognized by structural modeler. Uh, so we need to take, uh, we need to first create those sections in structural modeler. So the way you create those sections in Structural Modeler is you need to first um, go to a location on your um, on your on your um, computer, okay? And the uh, location is basically, uh, you know, it's a rather long path, but on page 107 we give you uh, the whole path, okay? So. Uh, most probably that that file is located there okay in some instances it, may, it might not be located there so it depends on how the program was installed okay so select series one that's the path and if you go to workspace um, folder in it and if you go to triforma and if you go to uh, tf imperial data uh, this is where all the all the section files are stored okay so this whole path i've given that we've given that to you on page 107 step number 11 okay now here we have you know aitc which are the the, the wood or timber sections australian sections indian canadian chinese japanese okay so there's all these international sections but we don't want to model these xml files okay these are uh, rather what we'll do is we will create our own custom section and uh, try to uh, create our own uh, XML file, okay? Now, in, the, in this directory, there's, you're gonna find like a structural shapes template uh, file, okay? Uh, with uh, the data sets that uh, you have received with this uh, manual, uh, you know, I have, uh, sorry, we have actually uh, copied a structural shapes template dash uh, to xls file okay and that file contains uh you know the sections that we need to define inside structural modeler okay so what you should do is basically uh, go to rectangular hollows and type in this information in this uh in this spreadsheet okay now once you've typed in that information you can basically go to file save as and uh, save this file as an XML file, okay? What you, we're just gonna call it maybe, uh, you know, I'm just gonna change the name to custom1.xml, okay? Now, uh, when you save that, okay, you can close Excel file, uh, I mean the Excel file, and inside your directory, you should see custom, <coughs> 1.xml okay this is the file that was just created now um we also need to give some sort of mapping okay now uh on uh, page uh, i mean if you want i mean if you want to see those sections now in structural modeler you can go into structural modeler just click on steel primary column on the left hand side. Now this dialog box will appear, right? Uh, click on the magnifying glass button in this dialog box and the structural sections dialog box will appear, okay? Now if you go to file, open, you know, you can basically uh, see that, uh, you know, I mean, right now for you, you know, there's gonna be only US XML data. <laughs> But if you want, you can go to this data folder 
and reference your custom one.xml file okay, that we just created. Just click on add. Click on done. And what you'll see is basically if you click on custom one, you'll see all your custom shapes appear in structural modeler. And you can start using those to draw your columns, beams, and so on.